بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله السلام عليكم to you the followers of the Ahlul Bayt to those of you who will go and take part in the majalis of Imam Al Hussein to those of you who are shedding tears for the sake of Imam Al Hussein welcome to another episode of our program with me Javad Ferdowsi and our dear Honorable guest, Sheikh Dawoodi. Sheikh Dawoodi, welcome to your program. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah and uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. We, in these, uh, in these series, each session, in each episode, we try about the life of Imam al Hussein, mm -hmm. about the narrations from different Imam, from the Holy Prophet the different aspects of Imam al Hussein, the characteristics and for those who might have this question on their mind that why is it that we should always say something that we have we might have heard mm -hmm. in so many other majalis and I believe the reason is that repetition is one of the essential yes. things in life for us not to forget Yes. the certain yes. things in life because human beings I believe are very forgetful yeah we tend to forget <clears throat> so many things very easily but this is not something that we should forget and if God forbid if we forget these essential things we're gonna be in a very wrong way yeah, yeah, yeah. yes you, you mentioned that uh, human beings are forgetful and inshallah I will say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله وعلى الأرواح التي حلت بثنائك عليك مني سلام الله عبدا ما بقيت فبقي الليل والنهار ولا جعله الله آخر العهد مني لزيارتكم السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أصحاب الحسين My brother as you mentioned Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has called us in son The word Arabic in son has come from the root, you know, word nasiya. Nasiya in Arabic, uh, when we translate it into English, it means forgetfulness. Yeah, that's it, exactly. All the time we are forgetful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has recommended us. He is telling Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling Rasulullah uh, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, all the time, فَذَكِّرْ إِنَّ نَفَعَتِ الذِّكْرَ so all the time we have to repeat and repeat and repeat. Yeah, it is very very good. <coughs> Human beings need it. Yeah. yeah. So so because of that we, we, we do not say that once just we saved and talk about the Muhammad and Salam and everything is finished. No no no. We are forgetful all the time. We forget and every day we every day, not every year. Every day we need to refresh us. Or even more, every minute. Every minute, every, every moment. Minute. One time, one of my friends actually told me that, why is it that we have to always listen to the things and to the narrations that we have heard so many times in our uh -huh. life? And I replied by saying that uh, we watch soccer, we watch football, mm -hmm. we watch so many games. Mm -hmm. and We know that most of those people, the players, professional players, mm -hmm. they've been playing their game for over than 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. But if they let go of exercise, they cannot go on anymore. They yeah. cannot be the winner of the yes, game. Yes, yes. You cannot good say example. that. Yes, Very you cannot say example. that he's a professional. Well, he's practiced for over mm. 10 years, for <laughs> over 15 years. The same thing, the same yeah, practice, yeah. the same practice. But if uh, he let go of those practice sessions, after one week or two weeks, he cannot be able to perform that well in the game. Yeah. So why is it that when it comes oh, yeah. to the hadith and the narration, to the spirituality, we say that we don't need repetition? I remember someone who was captured in a war by, you know, uh, some people. After three years, just three years, because he was alone in the prison, nobody was with him. And he was not able to speak in his own mother tongue with the others, the others who were surrounding him, all of them were talking in another language. For three years, he was with them. And after that, when he called us, yeah, he was back. He called us. 
We couldn't understand him. He has forgotten his own mother tongue. Yeah, that's it. Human beings will forget. A soccer, you know, professional soccer player will forget everything if he doesn't exercise every day or every week. I cannot so say on. that I've been practicing <clears throat> for 15 yeah. years. Yeah. You see that? Somebody's hand is broken. So they start to just, they say that, put it still, you shouldn't move it. After two weeks, only two weeks, two weeks. we cannot move, exactly. you know, the muscles. Okay. They also, every day, need exercising. It is a kind of exercise. All the time we have to keep Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our mind. And also, not only Allah, even those who are related to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ahlul Bayt alayhi salams are good examples. You see that sometimes, sometimes you visit a person. By visiting him, you remind of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You, you go to the mosque, by just entering the mosque, you remind of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They, they are the same, I think. Yeah? Yes. S something that makes you to keep remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very good. Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam as well. So, we were saying that we want to know Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, who was him. And after that, we will explain about his own characteristics because if we do not know someone, how we can follow him? How we can say that he is a good person or not? Yeah. So, how to understand and know Imam al Hussein alayhi salam through different rivayat? And through rivayat, just I want to explain another rivayat from. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this rivayah has been also narrated by both Shia and Sunni. They all believe that Rasulullah has narrated this rivayah. They Very also good. believe in their own book it is being written. Uh, just, you know, حدثني الحسين ibn Ali al-Zaafarani بالري قال حدثنا يحيى ibn Sulaiman and Abdullah ibn Usman and Hisa. So, they are the people who have narrated this hadith. Just I do not want to mention, just I go through the, you know, target exactly. They said, قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهُ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَآلِهِ وَسَلَّمْ This hadith, حُسَيْنٌ مِنِّي وَأَنَا مِنْ حُسَيْنٌ This part of the hadith, he explained about it. Rasulullah continued to say this one, أَحَبَّ اللَّهُ مَنْ أَحَبَّ حُسَيْنًا What does it mean exactly? Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وآلِهِ وَسَلَّمْ is saying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love someone who loves Hussein. If we want to take a look at the hadith at the beginning, you see that, okay, we should love Hussein, love. If, if we love Hussein alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love us. He's pleased with us. Yeah, he's going to please with us. But it's enough and everything is going to be finished or no, there is something specific inside this hadith. What does it mean exactly? Yes. What's the uh, meaning of law? What, what <clears throat> is exactly? It, it, it reached a very good point here. What is the definition of love? Mm -hmm. You know, it's something, a word that we just utter. We just say it without knowing the real and the true meaning, the true definition of love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it enough <clears throat> for us to just say that we love Ahlul Bayt? We love the... Uh, we, we do love him. Mm. Yeah. We do love him. But... Uh, it is sometimes it doesn't come into practice sometimes unfortunately we do say we are the followers of the Ahlul Bayt we go and participate in different majalis we do shed tears yes but if you want to translate the word love and what does it mean to love someone yeah <coughs> what do we have to say Okay, my brother, unfortunately, some specific languages cannot describe the word as well. Yeah. It is very important when we refer to one language, you see that, for example, I will say that in some languages, when we refer to them, just for one action or one feeling or something, they have different words. Yeah. By a very, very tiny specific changes, they will change the word. They have another word, another word, another word, and so on. For example, you see that camel is very important for the Arabs. Because of that, they have many different words for camel. Because it was very important for them. 
it shows the importance of the you know the things if it is you know female or male the name is different one year old two years old if it is going to uh, uh, for example they are taking the the milk of the camel or not or many different things so it shows the importance of the camel in the Arabic world but in English just they have one word camel camel nothing else it means that even if they do not have the camel or no a camel was not so important for them and also the colors for example you go somewhere that they are busy with paintings and painting is very important so for every tiny changes of the color they have a name I once heard that in uh, Sweden and uh, Finland and other countries like those country, they have so many words for snow. For snow, yeah. because the snow yeah, is yeah, so yeah, yeah. important. It's something that is always. They have lots of snows. Yes. Yeah. but in Arabic, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they have no word for snow because you know it is not something the, special. The they can't see <laughs> yeah, yes yeah, yeah. in everyday life. So we see that again. I will come back to our own discussion. We were talking about love. I just want to say that unfortunately in English we have just one word. We cannot just show exactly fling of the love by the words. We have to explain it yes. to be understood. So if you agree with me, because we reached a very good yeah. point, we're going to discuss it more thoroughly uh -huh. uh, in the rest of the program. We're just going to have to yeah. take a quick break, our inshallah. dear viewers, and we'll be back with you very soon, inshallah. <laughs> Welcome back, dear viewers. Well, uh, we reached a very good point, the definition of, of love. love. Yeah. You see, my brother, I explained that, unfortunately, sometimes for a word, in some languages, we cannot have different words to, to explain them, to show them, to understand them. We have to explain them through sentences, unfortunately. You see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if somebody loves Hussein, I will love him, or vice versa. Uh, I just want to explain it. You see that sometimes I say that I love my mother. Yeah, I love my mother. Sometimes you say, oh, I love this color. Just you are using the same word. Yes. And sometimes you see that I love this city. I love this car. I love, I love this, this car. pencil. I love... Yeah. Do you think that the love that I am using the word love, the, my feeling when I say that I love is the same. Of course, there's a huge difference. Different, yeah. A very huge difference. Very huge difference. The same word. But I love my mother and I love, yeah, for example, this watch. <laughs> they are not the same. But unfortunately, uh, this is the limitation of the language. Sometimes in a language, we cannot explain our feelings. Because of that, I just have to describe it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, uh, uh, Rasulullah says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves someone who loves Hussein. It means that if I just say I love Hussein, it's enough. Is that enough? By, by just saying the word or no, it has some affection. So because of that, you have to go through the affections of love. It is very important. If I say that, for example, I love, uh, for example, this watch, but I never put it on. Does it mean love? Or I don't care about it being dropped yeah, on the street or... or... So just by saying the word love, it doesn't mean that I love it. Yeah, just I have to show my love In through action. the actions. Through the actions. Exactly. Yes, exactly. If I love someone, yeah, for example, I say, I love my mother. Whatever he's saying, I, I do not take care. Is it the meaning of love or no? Just It's like saying, lots of people, they say, we love to be a doctor. Uh -huh. We love to be a pilot. But, but he... We love to go and study. Uh -huh. But nobody cares about uh, dedicating and putting aside some time 
to study their books, yeah. to study their subject, yeah. to read something. Mm -hmm. You know, we are not willing to do something, but at the same time we say, we do love to be a pilot. We want, we really want, everyone yeah. says we want to learn another languages, we want to be a doctor, we want to be a pilot, pilot. an engineer, mm -hmm. but we don't do anything to reach that goal. So, when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that if you love Hussein alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love you, he meant exactly that you have to follow Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. This is the meaning of love. I love Hussein, so because of the love that I am showing and I am explaining, I am saying that I love Hussein, because of that I am following his way. I just go to understand what, what Imam al Hussein alayhi salam said. I read somewhere, I go to hear from someone, excuse me, I love Hussein. I want to, to know that how he was living and I live the same way that Hussein alayhi salam was living. This is the meaning of love. So if somebody, if somebody loves Hussein alayhi salam in this way, according to the narration of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah will love him. I exactly saw someone uh, who actually I believe was uh, a true follower of the Ahl al-Bayt al-Imam al, al Hussein. Uh, there was about to start a fight between two people and all of a sudden one of them was really furious, outraged and he said with lots of, Ya Hussein, mm -hmm. and he didn't say anything yeah, yeah. to Just the about. person in front of him. And there was no fight. There was no fight. He just said, Ya Hussein, mm -hmm. and that's it. Why is it that we are not willing to say Ya Hussein so that we can be remindful of Imam al Hussein, peace and blessings be upon him, so that we do not enter into quarrels, into fights, yeah. into something yeah. that uh, doesn't worth yeah. for this life? Yeah. You know, it is very shameful, especially when it comes to the followers of Ahl al Bayt, to not be able to control their anger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To not have patience. Mm. Well, we have the role models. We have Lady Zaina. We so have well. Fatima al Zahra. We have all these great, great people that they are the greatest role model on this mm. earth. But can we say something to our viewers? A practice, a lesson that we can drive from the holy lives of the Ahlul Bayt, especially Imam al Hussein especially those narrations that is being narrated from the Prophet of Islam, for Imam al Hussein, so that in our act and in our actions, we can show other people yeah. that we are the followers of these people. Yeah. We are the true followers of Imam al Hussein, And through this way, we can invite other people to the religion of Islam. Is there any practice for us? Many, many different things, many different things, and inshallah, we will explain more because it is very important just to know how Imam al Hussein salam, was living. Up to now, we want to understand and get more familiar with Imam al Hussein salam, himself, what Rasulullah said about him. And exactly after that, we, we have to know that now I, I know who Imam al Hussein salam, is. So, what should I do after that? We Especially when we say we love, sorry ah, for the interruption, love, when we say yeah. we love Imam yeah. al-Hussein, so what is, we have some obligation. When we say yeah, we love, yeah. it comes an uh, obligation upon our shoulders yes. to act upon that word, love. Yeah. So we see that even this word love have some affection of, upon our lives. So what should we do after that? So we have to refer to the life of Imam al-Hussein alayhi himself. And to find out what did he like, how was his own living, the lifestyle that he had, his own characteristics, which is very important, very, very important. We, we all believe that Ahlul Bayt salam, are from the same light. Kulluhum nurun wahid. It is, of course, uh, our beliefs, we believe in that. And we see that, so in different occasions, Ahlul Bayt salam, did different actions because they were not as, at the same occasions. They were not at the same situation. Their, the situation of the life that they were living in was different, of course. But if we want to know Ahlul Bayt we have to put them together. 
all of them. And there, are them some there are some misunderstandings, no. unfortunately. <coughs> uh, we do know that uh, the youth, all of them, love the Ahlul Bayt. But some of the times there are some misunderstandings that some of these uh, youths, they say, I want to live like Ali. Mm -hmm. The commander mm -hmm. of the faithful, oh. peace be upon him, and the die like Hussein, oh. peace be upon him. Well, كلهم نور واحد. نور we واحد. know if uh, Imam Al Hussein was in the place of uh, the commander of the faithful, he yes. he would have done exactly, exactly. the same as Imam, uh, Imam Ali, the Amir Al, Amir al Mu'minin, mm -hmm. the commander of the faithful. And if Imam Al Hassan was in the place of Imam Al Hussein, he would have exactly. done exactly the same yeah, thing. Yeah. So there is no difference, no difference between these people. You see why? Because we believe, we believe that they are just acting according to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted them. They are not according, according to their own, you know, desires. Yeah, if, if they were acting according to their own desires, we say that, yeah, the way that Ali was, Ali alayhi salam, the commander of faithful, was living is so great, so I want to live like Ali. And after that, the, the way that Imam al Hussein al -Salam died, it was great. Does it mean exactly that his own living was not good? No, 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 no exactly not. Of course, their own situation was different. If, exactly. according to you said, they were in the place of Imam al Hussein al -Salam, yes, at the same, same time, they would have done exactly the same action that Imam al Hussein al -Salam did. So, my brother, we love. Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, but we do not follow him, doesn't, you know, worth. We do not follow him in our actions. Yeah. We follow him in our words. Yeah. We follow him. Uh -huh. But yeah. we do not follow, follow them in, in action. our actions. Yeah. It doesn't have any. Is it unimportant? Is it, is it unimportant to follow them in action? Uh, you know, it's a, it's a very big question mark we that cannot, pops up. We cannot in our imagine minds. exactly. We cannot imagine that we say that we love someone, but we, we do not follow him. Yes. Yeah. It, it, it is like a joke. Exactly yes. like a joke. Exactly. I go and say, I love this person. I love my mother. But I do not pay attention, any attention, to his own words, to her own words, or so on. When she it calls, we like say, okay, okay, mom, we don't have time. Sorry, I'm going to call you back later. And most of the times, yeah. we will forget yeah, 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 about yeah. calling her back. Yeah, we see it. Your, your mobile phone will ring. Uh, you are talking to a person, but when your mobile phone rings, because you are waiting for a very great person, okay, exactly, you interrupt him and directly go through your mobile phone to see that if he is the person that you are waiting for, what does it mean? It means that you love him. Is the love of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam in our heart like this? When they say, Ya Hussein, we put everything aside and we go through Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. Or no, just we say, we love Hussein. And it is exactly through, and uh, we have also the same aim here, that throughout uh, the discussions, throughout uh, all the sayings, uh, narrating all the narrations and uh, ahadith from the Ahlul Bayt, we should come to think a little bit about ourselves, about our status about the highest status of a human being in this world when we know that the Ahlul Bayt, they respected uh, the human dignity. Those who claim yeah. that nowadays they are uh, respecting the human dignity, they should know that the first persons to come and to show us the dignity of human being were the Ahlul Bayt. Yeah. It was Imam yeah. al-Hussein, it was Amir al muminin the commander of the faithful, the prophet, peace be upon him. And inshallah, God inshallah. willing, uh, we will remain in the right path by thinking a bit more Inshallah. about our actions and about uh, the Imam al-Hussein and Ahl al-Bayt. Thank you very much. If you do have anything to say to our Sorry, viewers. Br briefly, I, I just want to emphasize that if we really want the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon us, we have to love Hussein alayhi salam. And if we want to love Hussein alayhi salam, we have to follow him. Not through the words, just through actions. That's it. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you, our dear respected viewers, for being with us. And uh, the last sentence that I should say before saying uh, take care is we love Imam al Hussein. Mm -hmm. We should try to act upon this word. Take care.